Welcome back to the Dirt Road Destiny Farm and Homestead. I'm Destiny, and today I am going to be taking my chickens down to where my future garden is. It's not fenced in yet, but I'm going to get them to go down there and scratch it up and poop in it and just get it all good. So right now I am baiting them with a grape, and I'm going to... Please wait. Please wait. We are... Uh, go... You stole the bait? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go get another grape and then we're gonna come back and take them down to the garden. Then you'll see. Essentially what I have going on here is we tilled up a big area of this field that we weren't using for anything and we are going to put our starts in it and plant some more seeds. You want a grape? Go get it. I'm wanting the chickens to come over here and stay. They are free range, which means that they have their own choices on the homestead where they wanna go. So they're not always wanting to go scratch this up. They rather go chill by the creek and get bugs for now anyway. I'm hoping they'll stay over here. So I'm trying to get them to come down here and see. Look what we did, you know, but for the most part, oh, I got the ducks coming down here. So that's a good thing. They're gonna come down here and help a lot. I can keep an eye on them because they stand out against the dirt. So I can go make myself a tea. I can go into the house and I can look down here and I see my whole flock just eating bugs in the field. And that's good. I like them down here. So if I can get them to keep coming down here, then my goal today is accomplished. So far, so good. Soon this will be fenced into where they cannot get into the garden. So this is just for while it's all tilled up and stuff. Just kind of scratching it up more and doing what we need to do. It's crazy how fast baby goats grow. They're already eating grass and all that good stuff. So. There's our pretty milk stanchion my husband built for when we milk our doe rose. She's not giving us too much milk, but she's still giving us these babies a lot. Aren't you mamas? Are you eating a lot, little chunky dunk? You're so cute. He is probably the sweeter of the two. The little girl is spunky. She's a little rambunctious. But she's really pretty. She's a very beautiful Nigerian dwarf goat. How's his daddy doing? Papa. Well, actually, you're not the daddy to any of the babies on the homestead yet because they were already bred. Future Papa. <laughs> How's baby Hutchie? How's baby Hutchie? Don't chew on the microphone. How's baby Hutchie? Butters. Yes, you're the star. We know with your beard. <laughs> so my other doe over there, her breeders suspected her to be already bred and I can't really tell. She's starting to bulge on the side that she would be pregnant on and her udders are changing, but I don't know. It, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I think she is personally, so we'll see. She's so cute. Look at her scratching her back with her antlers. Or her horns, I called them antlers. <laughs> Yummy grass, Rose. Pasture princess. That's Rosie Posy. <laughs> You're so cute, Rose. I got all the other poultry eggs, the big chickens. This is a big turkey egg. My duck laid her egg outside somewhere, so I'm gonna have to hunt for that one. I don't know where that one's at today. Excuse me. Sorry, I know. <laughs> I see some over here. Have a good day. Let's check out all the starts in the greenhouse. Big thank you to my father-in-law who let us borrow his tractor so we could till up an area in the field that we weren't using. We actually just used the area that we ran out of fence in the pasture and we said, you know what, instead of buying fence, we're just gonna make it our garden. 
as you can see from up here if you look close i got birds down there still scratching looks like my plan's working yeah, i mean i'd say the plan definitely worked because i have the ducks still down there i have four actually there's six chickens down there it's not my whole flock but it's some and they are going to town man scratching up the area we tilled and just getting it even better ready for me to plant my bowl zeroed out let's put the eggs in it doesn't take me too long but i'll fast forward it to save you the monotony you guys have seen me do this a couple times by now turkey egg next to a quail egg always is funny to me it's like a complete difference make sure i put the quail eggs on top all right it looks like this is what we're at right now if it'll focus my scale's a little dusty that's because it has chicken dust on it from the bottom of this egg carton. 